In this screencast, we'll talk about the uh, CGI development process. The CGI development process uh, consists of uh, three basic steps. Uh, step number one is uh, deployment of a web server. Step number two is um, writing and debugging the CGI applications, also known as scripts, the CGI scripts. and that's typically done offline. And then uh, step number three is the deployment and testing of the scripts on the actual web, on the web server and in the browser. All right, which web server do we want to run? If you want to learn the basics of CGI scripting and Perl and Python, uh, one very good option is to use the CGI HTTP server that comes with Python. If you, for example, install IDLE, the standard IDLE uh, development environment, then the CGI HTTP server is installed automatically. This simple server can be put to a very productive use for rapidly prototyping your ideas and learning CGI HTTP intricacies and once you have a prototype it can you can port it to let's say the Apache HTTP web server uh, which is one industrial strength server or some other industrial strength server that will meet your specific computational and security requirements so let's go through this process step by step uh, open a couple of uh, terminals and uh, we're going to be talking about step number one, uh, deployment of the server. So the very first thing that we have to do is to create a, uh, okay, let's, um, right, this is idle. I'm running idle 2.6. Let's open Emacs. We'll need it. Or you can open your own favorite editor. So in order to run Python CGI HTTP server, uh, we need to create a directory where we will be running the server. Um, so in this case, it's code Python CGI. And then we can type in Python hyphen M CGI HTTP server, and uh, we're good. The server is running. Now, we will be writing two Hello World scripts, one in uh, Python and the other is in Perl, and they will be basically generating the following HTML. Um, they will be generating them dynamically, uh, except that we're now typing it and uh, the scripts will uh, generate this HTML dynamically when uh, the Python server runs them. So th this will be the output of the Perl script, which we will call uh, hello.pl. So it will just output Perl, hello from Perl script on Python server. And the output of um, the second hello script, which we will write in Python, will be almost identical, except that it'll be saying hello from the Python script on the Python server. So let's open up a browser and um, take a look at what those files will look like in the browser. So 
so that's the that will be the output of the Perl script and this will be the output of the Python script now uh, let's go and do step two uh, which is the debugging writing and debugging of the scripts the scripts have uh, um, if you're running uh, the Python CGI HTTP server this uh, both scripts must be placed in the CGI bin directory which should be the subdirectory of the directory where you are running the server right in our case it's uh, code Vladimir um, I, I'm sorry code uh, uh, Python uh, CGI bin right and this is just a Python uh, uh, sorry uh, uh, this is just a uh, Perl script that outputs the HTML and this is the Python script which looks a little bit cleaner so now let's go and CD into that directory code Python CGI CGI bin where all of the scripts must reside and um, let's find them so this is the Perl script and uh, oh here we go this is the Python script now in case um, they're not executable right you need to make them executable chmod plus x hello dot py and chmod plus x hello dot pl and now we can test them offline yep the output looks good and let's test the other script okay the output looks good and now we can actually go and um, do step number three test them on the server and in the browser so let's do HTTP localhost 8000 CGI bin CGI bin hello dot py yep it runs and then CGI be hello dot pl yep it runs so to recap and these are the uh, the messages that our uh, CGI HTTP server uh, received and displayed so um, step number one uh, deploy the server create the directory the CGI directory deploy the server create the CGI bin subdirectory in the server directory uh, write and debug the scripts if possible offline so like for example hello.pl and then test them on the server and uh, in the browser